three-year-old fillies over a mile. The group one flight stakes. Stand by for a break. And they're off and racing. Well, Pandemonium's missed the start again today. So she's not going to leave. Well, not initially. Sweet deal. College romance and lover, lover of the three going forward. And Pandemonium being revved up goes to fourth. Followed by Smooth Landing. One more honey, one off the fence. Then Legal Girl. Oh, she's cast deep. Silly Girl's driving underneath. Now, Collett's gone down to the fence here on Champagne Cuddles. Back second last as I'm excited. And Elise's gone down to the fence as well. So the Ruffy, College Romance. She's the maiden. Out by two lengths on Lover Lover. A length for the back to Sweet Deal. And Pandemonium settles in fourth, having missed the kick again today. Two and a half further back to Smooth Landing. The speed is good. One more honey the outside. Further back to Champagne Cuddles is buried on the fence from Silla Girl. Legal Girl the outside, three deep. Second last as I'm excited and Elise's coming one off the fence, starting to drive through, but we'll need some luck from there. Coming up towards the 600 metres. Well, on paper, this could be a topical Quinella College romance and lover, lover, but they won't be there for too much longer, you would think. Just behind them is Sweet Deal. Pandemonium's under the pump. Now Silla Girl gets cracking, followed by one more honey to the outside. And now Champagne Cuddles is starting to work through the field. She's just going to need a bit of room. They come up the rise and Sweet Deal moves up to Lover Lover. Cellar Girl is spreading quickly. So Champagne Cuddles and Smooth Landing up the fence. Elise gets the run as well. The two favourites. Elise went straight past Champagne Cuddles. Then Cellar Girl and one more honey. Hasn't she got a motor, Elise? That was electrifying. Elise wins it comfortably in the flight stakes from Champagne Cuddles. Cellar Girl third just in front of one more honey. Then Smooth Landing from Lover Lover. Further back to I Am Excited, Pandemonium Sweet Deal, Legal Girl and College Romance. Elise, uh, what an exciting filly and what a dash of speed today. And James Cummings picks up his first Group 1 in the Godolphin Blue. Glenn Schofield on board, Elise with a leg in the air, beats them in the flight stakes. Wow, what a combination they are, Schofield and Elise. I think he's had four rides on her for three wins and a, another cool, calm and collected ride from an outside draw. They found the, uh, the fence early with a, he minded his, he bided his time, just took the splits as they come and a total domination. She's always had a huge rap on her, this filly. She's been work in progress and she's delivering the goods at the moment. Uh, she's turned into a real bridesmaid, poor little champagne colour. Can, keeps trying her heart out but runs into a, a big brute of a thing there. Can't say much about the others. Sella Girl loomed up and was outclassed and very one paced. One more, honey. Elise has been right through the Princess Series, second in the Silver Shadow, fourth in the Furious and winning the T-Rose. And what about Champagne Cuddles? Runner-up in now the Furious T-Rose, Golden Rose and Flight Stakes. Two, one, four, and three, the numbers. Elise first, Glenn Schofield and James Cummings. And here's uh, Glenn now with Bernie Cooper. Could be one of Glenn's favourite ladies about now. Yeah, absolutely. What a beaut she is, you know. Just, just the progression she's made mentally from when I rode her at Warwick Farm and the Maidens to today is... It's, it's a quantum leap for her. And full credit, I mean, I just ride a race day, and full credit to the team at home, James, Darren and Asim. They've obviously found the key to her. Obviously riding her a little bit quiet's helped her relax in her run and, and, and find that electric turn of speed that she had last start and today was even better. So um, it's a lot to like about her. There is a lot to like. Uh, your first, uh, James Cummings' first Group 1 winner for Godolphin as well. Well, that's first, but probably definitely not his last. Indeed, and uh, obviously um, she still looks like she's got improvement in her as far as her coat and things like that. Yeah, look, she's, as I said, she's a work in progress. She's by no means the finished article. And if she can improve off today, which I'm sure deep down, James, even though she's won the fantastic way, uh, fantastically today, I'm sure deep down he feels there is a bit of improvement to come. Super job. Well done. Thanks, Bernie.